looking at? Well, there's a heat sink, as you can tell, that's an AMD heat sink. And uh, what, what's this? What's this here? This, all right, come on, focus, exposure. All right, well, anyway, this is a Phenom X, uh, come on, Phenom X, uh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I'm losing my words today. You know, it is actually 4.17 that I'm doing this video, um, 4.17 in the morning. Uh, but it's an Athlon X2, 245, I believe. So, yeah, it's a dual-core processor, so here, just just spare with me here. Uh, that's the hard drive. I didn't take it out the box yet. Here's two gigs of RAM. I know it's... I know. I, um, here is... Oh, my God, did I buy a CD drive? Is that the side of it? And uh, it's a... You know, it's a, C, it's a DVD drive, a dual air. Uh, nice, I guess. Um... And that's a that this is a power supply. If you guys don't know that already, that's a you know those things that power computers that convert the I believe what is it AC to DC. Um, and that in and, and guess what it is a C Sonic. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and uh, yeah, this motherboard may look familiar. Um, remember my first build? Yeah, that's what this motherboard's from. Um, that's it. That's the AC, the Azrock 880 GM LE. I remember the model number there because I've had to say it a million times. And I remember when I first purchased this motherboard, I was like, oh my god, this is an awesome motherboard. Da, 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 da. And then I started upgrading it and upgrading it, and I just started to see the weakness of this board. And it's 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 scared of expandability. So if you really start taking up the slots in the back of the um, motherboard, then you know you're 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 gonna pay for it. Because <laughs> it's gonna stop working. Um, and this fan is actually, as you can see, it's in a bracket. This goes to my Hyper 101, I believe, for the AMD socket. Um, and by the way, that's an FM, AM, AM3 socket. But I think it'll fit your AM2s, AM2 pluses, and AM3s. Uh, and that's one of the fans that popped off the heat sink that I got to put back on. But anyway, this is basically part one of the cheap media center build. Now, you're probably like, where's the case? It'll be here tomorrow. It's Actually, it'll be here today, but later. You know, it's, it's 4, 4 17 in the morning. Um, here's the case here, and uh, there's a problem with this case, the DIY PC. Yeah, not the most high quality. I expected that, but it's got great ventilation. But what's the problem with this case? That case needs a micro ATX power supply, and I've never really heard of a micro ATX power supply. I've heard of an ATX power supply, or a standard ATX power supply, and that's it right there. That does not fit in here. The micro ATX is slightly smaller in width, and slightly smaller uh, in terms of height. And it looks just like a standard ATX power supply. So Newegg is getting their case back, and what I'm gonna do is put all my stuff in a not as good looking or slightly featured, um, slightly featured, uh, I guess they have the same features, but the case I'm getting, it's kind of a mini tower, it's like a Dell, it's like, um, it's a mini tower, but it's a micro ATX, and it's only fit micro ATX boards, and that's fine, um, here's my current media center PC, yeah, I, I know, I need to clean up, um, here's my current media center PC, now if you take a look at it, it's not the best looking piece of equipment, but I'm not getting rid of this because of that it's just because oh wow that look really looks bad on camera but it's because this machine um um it's a laptop and i i'm, I'm running it 20 24 7 and i feel safer running this than a full-blown desktop but it um expandability that's the only thing my meter center pc it's going to be a little dual core little dinky machine just like my main machine started out to be then i'll slowly upgrade it and make it into like a steam box and so forth and so on and it'll be the next console replacement that means I can have my steam games running over here and if I have you know family members over or friends over you know where's your mic where's your game system where's your game system uh, you don't have a game system I don't know how to use a PC well if I have a little steam box I can plug a little controller up into that you know a little Xbox 360 wireless controller and be on my way so um, this is going to be your play soon I just got my TV in the basement working. It's got the it's the 55 inch Sony Vega Vega I think it's called. So that's why this is going downstairs and my media center PC is going right here. So stay tuned for that. 
and uh, also I want to start recording TV um, so yeah um, stay tuned for that and uh, yeah <laughs>